and what we'll be doing is decal projection texturing and i really love this topic because it's one of my favorite thing i always like to do in cinema 4d even when i'm actually doing basic uving where i actually unwrapping my uh, uh my objects and i like to use it for texturing so what i just doing i'm just organizing by making a new layer and name it and just putting my uh, everything what i want for the room in my room list so it's just to keep everything organized so now i'm going to start off with the walls by um applying tiles which you can find on all of the cg textures you find all these textures off of cg um so i'm just making sure everything clear and everything like that so now i am going to apply this this x out of here and drop that on so now we get this um looking good shape and now what we're gonna do we're gonna go to cubic and now we're gonna scroll down and i'm just solo in it so keep an eye focus and now if you notice we could um move because we're now just went in texture mode and we can move it around and then this is why i really love this feature so now i'm just going to tie this to 0 0.2 and that's the u tiles u and for the tiles v i just put it to 0 0.3 so now we get this nice look to it and i'm just bringing it down because i really like the bottom piece but i see in a line there so it's not seamless so what we're going to do check seamless and bring it down again i'll bring it up and everything's seamless no lines or nothing like that nice so now what we're going to do we are going to select that and we're going to go to the bay texture tag select your walls and then go to bay texture tag and check color because what we're doing we're actually going to generate the normals so just to let you know that and we're going to go to um, tag send it to pacific folder and i just name it normal room walls because I'm gonna put this inside the um, crazy bump and generate it. So now I'm just gonna make sure you um, always check that, okay? Every time check that, um, use polygon selection. So I'm just rendering it out. The thing about use um, polygon selection is because when you put it on cubic, it generates all around the room. And whatever you put on one side, it's actually gonna show on the other side of the room. Because if you look at the cubic, it actually showing you where it all going. But um, the next thing we're gonna do is, later on, we're actually gonna select a polygon and make sure that check because it's actually gonna put the get out of here on the next side, so always remember that. So, no, I'm just gonna copy this and space it in here and check the alpha channel. So now we got dirt, now we can X that out. Now we're just gonna bring that dirt onto the wall, and that's pretty good the way it is, to be honest. Stuff like that, I don't really like try to fix because it really it's already random and it looks right. So I'm not gonna try fix nothing with that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to select the selection and put get out of here, here, um, on the wall. So now what we're going to do, we are going to go and make get our texture. Get out of here, open that. And now we're going to copy that, go to color paste that in the channel minimize and then we're gonna select a polygon this time so let's go in polygon mode all right so now what we're gonna do we're just gonna drag that on there and now we're going to click on it and then go to attributes and then set that to cubic and you see what it's doing already it's already generating all around so what we want to do we want to take off the tiling 
Okay, tile off. And now if we move it around, if you notice how the yellow stuff are moving around, that's where it's telling you where it, it still is gonna project. And you don't want that. If you don't have that thing checked, um, use um, polygon selection. It's gonna, it's gonna cause that problem. But for right now, we're, we're okay. Cause we already have a check. So we did that and that's looking good. So let's put some words up on this side. Select those walls, go to materials, duplicate it again. And now we're just going to add that. Hit no, go to alpha and just paste that in there. I just want to say a little sorry about the little noise in the background, the plane flying, the nature in the background. I just want to say sorry about that. It's not a quiet day. <laughs> so, um, we're going to do the attributes and change that to cubic and take off the um, tiling here. And we're just going to make that small, like two, two. Who's good enough? I'm just gonna put it in cubic mode and it's gonna bring it down. Yeah, that's look good enough. Yeah, go right there. I really like this tool, it's just so good. The only thing I wish Cinema 40 could run um like you know, render it live, like how Maya would actually do that. Um, but I, I actually like I I okay with it so far, but I hope they put it in R17. I hope they do it, cause that'll be a good feature to put on. And there you go. So we got words on the wall and everything like that. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna actually add some more dirt to the bottom actually. So we're duplicating it. And we're just gonna keep running out with a bunch of stuff and just keep adding and adding and adding until we get a specific look like how we might want it. So I'm just doing the same method over and over and over, basically. And I'm just gonna select it, go to attributes, and set that to cubic. Put it there and I'm gonna check seamless. And I feel like rotating it, I'm gonna start off at the bottom, really. Just wanna rotate it. It's looking kinda of alright. Um, that looks more better. And now if I want to duplicate that, if I wanted to uncheck tiling, but if you notice, if you notice, see anything I was saying with the text here, for example, you see how some of that was generated in certain areas? So you got to think sometimes on if you really want it or not. Because it was already generated. Um, generating all across the room even though it's in one area but sometimes that might come in handy because then sometimes you might actually like that so now I'm going to um, okay so now what we're gonna do we um, gonna run that out and see how that looks it looks good Alright, so we need to duplicate that. Good, so we just duplicated it. Like I say, just keep just keep putting them on the overlay, overlay, overlay layer. And we're gonna rotate it. And everyone wanna know why how it's snapping in place, I'm just holding down shift, just to let you know. Hold down shift. Nice, and give it a little more depth at the top. And I took it off for the tiling. So if you notice, it's going all over the place, which is pretty, 
which you wanted to avoid if it was a tax. But something like dirt, that's how you might actually like it. All right. So now everything's coming together. Well, we could do go to the bake object. I mean, bake texture tag being already set, but we're gonna change this name and then we're gonna give it a disfuse texture name. Yes. Make sure it's a PSD file or whatever format you might want. And make sure you use polygon selection like I told you about. And just hit bake. And if you notice now, everything is baked in normally and nice. And if I duplicate the walls, if I wanted to, and I'm just going to hide those wall, put it in the backup. And if I take, the only reason why I made a backup, just in case I say I want to go back and put some more textures onto it. So now what I'm going to do, I am basically just going to find the texture that we did. It was on my desktop, game level bake, and this fuse, and uncheck that. And if I apply it onto my object, there you go. So I just added some more, a few details because I skipped. And if you notice, I just wanted to show you the bad version of what happens when you don't have use polygon check. <laughs> use polygon selection don't check. But this is the one what is check. This is the good one we just did. See, it's not there. So now you actually have a basic understanding of decal projecturing. And I hope that y'all actually enjoy this method. I love it. And I hope y'all love it. This is one of my tips I always love. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching. And see you in part five.